Hello everyone. Welcome to a tutorial on how to install and play Real Mode Multiplayer on Windows. Please be aware, the mod is in beta right now and may contain bugs. While Real Mode Multiplayer works with some mods, I recommend a clean install of Real Mode in order to minimize the amount of errors you may experience. The easiest way to get a clean install of Real Mode is to right click it in your library, click Properties, go to Local Files, and click Verify Integrity of Game Files. Once you've got a clean install of RimWorld, you'll want to head over to the RimWorld Multiplayer Workshop page. Go to Browse the Workshop, look up Multiplayer in the search bar. Here it is. Click on it, click Subscribe, which I've already done, and it should start downloading in your download queue. When it's done downloading, go to RimWorld and click Play. Once Remote is loaded back up, you should see a new tab on your main menu called Multiplayer. Before hitting that, let's go configure the mod options. Go to Options, Mod Settings, and click the one for Multiplayer. Here you should see a number of options. I recommend that you change your username, check Auto Accept Steam to On, and check Aggressive Ticking. Aggressive Ticking helps with the sync. Auto Accept Steam is good for when you're playing with friends and you just want to let them in, and Username is good to change because everyone starts with default player zero. Now that you've configured the multiplayer mod, you can go back to the main menu and click on the multiplayer tab. When you're hosting a new multiplayer game, you're going to have to create the mod in single player first and then save, and it will appear on your host list. Here it is. Click host, and now you have some options. Choose the game name, max players, auto save interval, and here are some more options. Always leave the Arbiter on, and these are to uh, configure what kind of network you're running. So I'm running Steam, so I'll click Steam and click off LAN. Change my game name to Swept Game, Max Players 2, because I'm only playing with one other person, and I will save to 10, whatever. Host. And here we go. I'm in game at the start of my save. So I'm going to pause, and up in the top right, you'll see a chat button. This chat button shows you who's in the server. There's a little chat for you to chat with whoever else is in the server. And in a minute, we should see the Arbiter join. So the Arbiter is a custom game instance that runs on the host's computer that is used to prevent desyncs between other clients. Here you go. The Arbiter has joined, and I'm now going to DM my friend and tell him to join. So pretty soon we'll see him join. There he is. You can see he still ticks behind. That's his Steam ID, and there he is. So you'll see that this is a little connection indicator. Ticks equal pings, and we're cool. We can see his, we can see his mouse. And yeah, so when you're saving the multiplayer game, just go to save replay, save replay like that, and there you go, that'll be saved. Okay, so we're back on the main menu, and now I'm going to show you what it's like from the other end to join someone's multiplayer game. Go to multiplayer, go to Steam if they're using Steam, I can see my friend is playing Rimworld, and I'm going to join him. I'm waiting for him to accept. And there we go, I'm in. I can control, as a joined player and as a host, I can control the speed. And I can do pretty much everything. In this tutorial, I've shown you how to join, save, and host multiplayer games using the remote multiplayer mod. The best way to contact us with issues, questions, or con concerns is on our official Discord server. Go to the Issues channel and list your issue, and we have people ready to help you. You can also talk directly to the developers. The Discord is also the best way to check for mod lists and mods that are compatible with the Remote Multiplayer mod. We have a mod list channel listing many Steam collections, and we also have a mod checking bot that will check for you if your mod is compatible. For example, I'm going to use the 
exclamation mark, mod command, and I'm going to check Hermatonics. As you can see, the mod is compatible, and it also has a link to the Steam page.